Yo, welcome to Ozzy the Studios. In this video, I'm going to talk you through this drum and bass, bass preset that I've made. <laughs> welcome to episode 2 of Sound Design Sunday. Today I'm going to talk you through a drum and bass preset that I've made. First of all, I'm going to go and switch off the effects that I'm using, which is EQ, Compressor, Phaser, Distortion, and Hyper. I'm going to switch off the Filler, Oscillator B, and the Noise. So, and Oscillator A. So for the Sub, what I've done is I've left it on a Sine Wave, minus one octave. The level is on 75, which I think I just left as is. I've clicked the Direct out which sends this directly out and bypasses the filter and the effect. So oscillator A, what I've done is I've gone to digital and chose the hyper. Uh, this is only one wave table, so there's no nothing else on the position, so I've left it on that. I've not done anything with the detune and blend. I've turned the random completely down to zero and I've chose 69 degrees on the phase. Okay, so also let B. Oh, sorry, we've also got FM from B, but that won't be doing anything yet because we haven't activated also let B. So we'll activate also let B, and what I've done on this is plus one octave um, on analog basic shapes and wave table position four, which is a square wave. So we've got plus one octave and plus four semitones. What this does is it adds the, adds quite a nice harmonic on top of the bass we've already got. So, so if we just play B on its own, So we've got FM from B on oscillator A, and that's set to 38%. Back to oscillator B, we've got um, 3 on the unison. The detune we've got on 0.03, and the blend is on 56. The phase I've got on 99 degrees and again random on zero. The level I've turned down to 39%. The pan is left dead center and we've got no warping. So onto the filter. I think MG low 12 is what's already on when you switch the filter on in Serum. If not, it's just in normal and MG low 12 there. I'm switching this on for oscillator A, B, the noise and the sub, although this sub is bypassing that anyway, so it, it probably doesn't make a difference. So the cutoff I've got on four five five hertz, and we're going to control this with the LFO. The res we've got eight percent. The pan is left dead center. Got a little bit of drive four percent. Fat is all the way up and mix is all the way up. So, the LFO. I've created a curve here and then dropping back down. So it sort of comes just in before the... For the quarter note, I think. Um, just try to figure it out. If you were to copy that, you'll get the same effect. You can tweak it a little bit. I found it quite nice about there. It's better tweaking it when you've got the drum beat in. Um, what I've done is I've switched trigger on. We've got a BPM synced anchor and triplets on 
So the rate we've got a half triplet, rise we've got an eighth, and delay we've got an eighth. What delay does is it delays the sound by an eighth note before it starts the other four. So as you'll notice, when each note is played, it'll stop at the start. And I've just got to smooth up a little bit just to smoothen it out a bit. The envelope, I don't think I've done much with, um, So, but I'll run you through the settings. is 0.5 milliseconds for attack. The K is on 989 milliseconds. And release is on 52 milliseconds. The hold and sustain are both at zero. So I've added a noise onto this, which is the J106HP in analog. Um, all this is actually doing, I've, I've got this, um, the one shot mode on. So what that does is when each key is played, it'll only play that noise once. So if I switch off the oscillators and sub, then Yeah, so we want direct out on. And that just adds a little bit of top end to the start of the note. And it sounds quite loud at the moment, but it won't be once we've um, added the effects for the rest of the bass. So I think that's it for this front panel. We're going to switch over to FX. So we've got hyper dimension on. And all we're, all we're using is a bit of dimension. We've got a size on 12% and the mix on 16%. It's barely noticeable, but it just adds a little bit to it. So distortion, we've got soft clip. And then we've got the filter on pre. The frequency is set to one, two, three, two, and we've got LFO one on that, just pushing the filter a little bit. So about 23 on the LFO mod is fine. So that's just pushing the filter up a little bit. The drive we've got on 82% and the mix on 61 so we're not adding too much but just a little bit. Just adds a little bit to it. As I'm going through I'm not adding big dramatic changes I'm just trying to enhance the sound a little bit. When you add your comp the compressor on that sort of brings it all out a bit more. So the phaser, again, not doing a lot with this, but we've got the rate on two bar, which is BPM synced. The depth is on 55%. The frequency is 260 hertz. Feedback is 55%. The phase is 194 degrees. And mix is on 56%. You can hear it a lot more when you turn the mix up. But again, we just want that to enhance the sound a little bit. When we stick the compressor on, we're going to bring it right out, which is next. So the, we're going to add the compressor. We've got multiband on. And what you can do with multiband is you can actually drag the bands here. So what I've got is the high on 162%, the mids on 163%, and the lows on 127 The threshold is on minus 16.9 dB. The ratio is on 2 to 1, the attack is 24.9 milliseconds, the release is on 90, and the gain is on 1.2 with the mix full up. And as you can hear, this really brings the sound out. So there what I've done is switch the EQ on and all we've got is a gentle lift on both the highs and the lows. So the first one we've got is frequencies on 180 hertz. Q is 49%, but I don't think that, yeah. 
4950 is fine. The gain is on 4.6 dB. And these are both on the shelf. So the second one we've got frequency on about 1120. The Q is 58 and the gain is on 3.4. So it just lifts the sound a little bit. I am noticing that the noise is a little bit loud. Um, also, the LFO, I don't think, I think I forgot to mention, is affecting the cutoff here by 36 so the cutoff is on 455 and then we've got remove that so yeah we're on 455 and the LFO we add on about 30 when you can tweak this to be like One thing I might do is bring this level down a little bit on the hyper on oscillator 1 and add the LFO to that 2 and just bump it back up to about where it was. I don't want to drop it down too low because that's kind of like the meat of the, the sound. Maybe do the same on us a little bit. Bump it up a little bit. Okay, on a few finishing touches, just to set up the noise, as I said, we put it on direct out, the phase is on 45%, the random is on zero, the pitch I've got on 71, the level I've got on 36 now after turning it down, and the pan is on zero. What I've also done is I've switched on, in the voicing, I've switched mono on and legato, and I've got the portamento up on 151 milliseconds. Okay, so that's the preset done. I'm going to try and keep these videos quite short. Last week's I went on a little bit because I started the whole preset again. If you'd rather me do that, please let me know. But I want to try and keep them as short as possible so you can just get the information from it, recreate the preset if you want. As usual, the preset is going to be available in the resources on my Facebook page. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you next time.